him. Something went bang. Something went bang. And there was some smoke and a smell. And there's a really bad smell. Really bad. I'm getting the head out of here. Yeah. I'm going to bail out. Bail out. Bail out. Something. Oh, it's a best spot. That's, that's not good. much cooler start to the morning than I ever imagined. We've had a beautiful sunrise, which is cool because when we arrived, the light was flat, it was a bit of a whiteout, we couldn't see as much as we desire. But today, the skies have cleared. It's perfect timing because we're heading to the ice track. This is basically our entire journey is culminating exactly. in the adventure exactly. that is sideways on the snow. We're gonna have the opportunity to try the Quattro system on the Audi R8. And uh, yeah, I've never really uh, arrived at any track in this kind of style before, but you know, when in Norway with a long delay, let's play. Let's hit it! That was a good little ride. <laughs> you like that one? Okay, we just got to the track. I say track, uh, we all just parked together, treating this place like a car park. Um, and then one of the guys who knows this area, runs the establishment, came over and said, it'd be really cool if you didn't park too close together because it puts too much pressure on the lake <laughs> and we could fall through the ice. So um, yeah, we all quickly dispersed and uh, parked ourselves as far away from each other as we possibly could. Anyway, this is a surprise. I didn't expect to have these Polaris buggies here for us to play with. Let me show you this thing. We have access to this today. Um, this is, puts a massive smile on my face. Look at that thing. <laughs> Check out the studs. Look at this. Look at the studs on it. And it's got these massive Fox shocks. Check it out. Huge travel, lots of grip. Apparently it's like 170 horsepower. Turbocharged and clearly it doesn't weigh much. There's hardly anything to it, but couldn't have wished for a better start to the morning. And uh, yeah, they just said, uh, just hop in and go. So let's hop in and go. Looks like it's gonna be the most terrifying thing I've ever done. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, oh. It's, like, it's like a button. This terrifies me. Four points Buckle up. Harness. For uh, sure. What I, what I will say is your face is going to get very cold. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Mask off hold as much as we possibly can. Hold on. I'm, I think I'm sat on the driving line. Let no. me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm not. Okay. Destroy the ice buggy. 
This is the culprit. It was the... I, th I thought he said dry belt, but now I've seen it. Drive belt would probably make sense. Uh, that, hence, look, look at it. That's why I thought we might have ran over a snow cat or something, because all of that was sprayed across the whole engine bay. Uh, yes, but anyway, apparently, replaceable part, all good. Now let's try the R8. Okay, so this is really it. Right. Now then. First time out on the ice. In the Quattro, I've never done Quattro on ice. And, which is crazy because really that's what this system and these cars are famous for. The ability to have more traction than anyone else while still maintaining a sideways angle. So, I maybe traction off. I don't have to hold that down. Traction off. Let's put it into dynamic. Let's see what this thing's all about. Oh, okay, up we go. It's so silky smooth. Find like third, actually. Oh yeah, third, there it is. Third's just got enough torque without spooling the engine up too quick. This track is beautiful, but it does go from sort of quite confidence-inspiring snow patches to just pure sheet ice. I mean, there's no... There's no getting around. It doesn't matter what you've got under your underfoot. When you hit, when you hit ice, you're on your own. You can just feel the front tires pulling you forward. It's this like nice little confidence-inspiring drag from the front that just allows you to maintain more speed than you would do in a rear-wheel drive car. Oh my god, this is so cool. Listen, if you've never tried ice driving, I implore you to find a way. <laughs> it's absolutely a magical, magical feeling. Just lit sideways all the time. But for car control, oh, it, it teaches you a lot. And it's you're not going to be anywhere near as alarmed if you're ever in a situation where the car, wherever you might be, breaks loose. Oh, this is dancing. Oh, my days. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, I love this car. Honestly, on our journey over here, we've, we've been like, you know, is this thing too safe? Is it too good? I am so glad, I honestly, oh my lord, don't think I would have wanted to have brought any other car. It's just, look, with the back end in the snow, Woo, full lock stops on the locks. And you're just constantly feeling the Quattro just dragging you forwards when it might have otherwise over-rotated in a, in a rear wheel drive car. Oh wow. It's just a beauty, an absolute beauty. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe this. We've had pizza delivery directly to the ice track, hence the swarm of people around the back of this car right now. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is where it's at. This is the best thing I've seen all day. So, Benny, would you say this is this is the first time that you've eaten pizza on a snowboard in England, bro? On a frozen lake, being pulled by a slingshot. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first. Like, this is the checkbox uh, winning thing. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Benny's snowboarding boots are his uh, trainers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Wait, 
the slingshot. <laughs> we are trying to slingshot Casper right into this jump, and then he's gonna do a double backflip. Okay, double off the back of the slingshot. Yes. Yeah, All yeah. right. Slingshot, double backflip, epic landing, <laughs> pow everywhere. Watch out for the post. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, drifting uh, has taken a brief pause uh, while we've dreamt up some crazy game. Facebook Live right now. Whoa! <laughs> From a buggy in front of us. I don't know how they've managed to rig that camera up, but it's like a professional grade camera on this like floating gimbal uh, filming you and I drifting live on Facebook. And I just jumped from the G650 Landolite into this, and this feels really weird. <laughs> Massive contrast. Because it's actually turning and you can feel the car. What's the, the Landolite like? It's like drifting a semi truck. <laughs> it basically and then, is. And then up here we have a bunch of. Uh, Crashed out people. Yeah, they're still there, right? And what happens every now and again is someone spins out, like the GT3 here, and then a rescue truck comes along and and puts a rope across the whole track. So you have to stop it so you don't chop your car in half. And then there's a traffic jam with all sorts of strange cars. <laughs> yeah. What else is slightly disconcerting is when we arrived here, they were like, try not to park the cars all together in one spot. <laughs> because it puts stress on the ice and you, you know, you might just fall into the lake. So every time someone breaks down, everyone flocks into one place. It's Real not, smart. It's, it's, not, it's not cool, man. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> nice! And we're back. Oh, long stretch, as soon as you get in that car after the cold, it's really nice and cozy and you barely want to get out. Check this out. This is the sort of underground garage where we store all of the cars overnight. It's important to store it overnight here because this is heated, outside is Baltic. When you come to the cars in the morning, they're just lock solid. You can barely even open the doors because it's so cold. Let me show you around some of the cars that, if you've only joined us at the end of this journey, have been with us this week. We've got Ewan Olsen's car. This is a uh, Rolls-Royce Wraith, which has been heavily modified to just over 800 brake horsepower. This has actually been pretty cool. It's been handy as well as a sort of support vehicle. AMG CLA 45, and on the ice it's been drifting and lit sideways. The guy who's brought it down has had an amazing time, uh, and it's been really handy because lots of seats and space for bags, which is super rad. The GT3, I've got to say, just having such a good time. Now, this, this guy didn't actually put winter tires or studs on his car. It's just been all weather tires, which have been you know, okay, but it's worked out well. I've never not seen this guy with a massive smile on his face, so despite the uh, battle scars on his car, I'm not sure he cares. This looks like a permanent resident around here, Sierra RS. Um, not only do we not have a low splitter, but the ride height is actually quite high. So we've been hitting snow at times, you know, fairly hard, and it's been, it's been great. We've got it beached once, and the car hasn't got a single scratch on it, it's been fantastic. So, yeah, Sam and I, I think here's Sam packing up his gear. A verdict on the R8. It's awesome. It is uh, rad, right? We were talking about it earlier, and I'm a massive Porsche fan, and um, I've driven pretty much all the cars here this trip. And my yeah. top, top two, definitely on the ice track, yeah. were the old M3, uh -huh. which, the, is, the which is E30 E30 M3, 30 M3 uh -huh. which is Mega. Just, but that's just the most like, organic car so here, like right? It's like analog, you Manual. feel everything, and it's got studs, so it's got so much it's grip. much more grip, yeah. And then, and then this, this has been number two. And it's just been it's an mega, absolute beast. Like, Quattro on the ice is incredible. It is. It is so, it's so cool. Like, like, once you get past that initial understeer and know that you can just give it a bit more gas to push past yeah, it, like, it's amazing. The ice just got so slippy towards the end. Yeah. And like even like this last corner coming to where we park, yeah. if you don't either commit fully yeah. or slow down to half a snail space, yeah. you're just understeering off. So you've yeah. got to come in 
like this. They're back. Then. Otherwise, <laughs> Otherwise you're just it. flying you're off. Out. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this opportunity and call it a day. This might be the last vlog of this trip. Lots more content to come. As always, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.